Welcome to DL Paintings, and I'm going to do a step-by-step, -step, a couple of short videos on how I do my Bark at the Moon painting. I'm going to bring this in a little closer, hopefully you can see it. We have the wolf up here on his rock, and some deer running. Here are the two does, followed by the buck, and I'm going to have a big moon in the background. I'll drop in some snow and put a nice little forest here with the skyline. I think it's going to look really cool when I'm done. So I'm going to make some short videos. I had some technical difficulties uh, filming. I tried to do the beer mug picture, which ended up having no audio on me. And then when I did my uh, two lovers in the park walking, that ended up having audio and no video. So I'm going to make short videos on what I do. So I'm going to use some tones of gray here, and the light's going to be coming from the back, so I'm going to start with some light gray at the top, and I'm going to work down into darkness into the gray. So hopefully I could do this somewhat quickly, because this is going to go to Instagram, and it will go to YouTube as well. And I gotta get it nice because Instagram does not let me post that much lengthwise. And YouTube was uh, also not letting me post a lot in length. So I just wanna make some nice light gray up top because that's where the wolf is. Now I want that white to be, I want it to be lighter up there. Now you can mix your own gray, but I have pre-mixed gray from when I first started painting. Didn't know much, so I'm still using those. I like them a lot, so I'm going to dark gray next. And I'm working kind of quickly on it because I want to get some nice layers, effects, of rock. We're going to make that a little squiggly like so you know you want to going to etch it in a little bit because you want to get a nice outline so you kind of know where you're at with your rock face and rocks are not perfect at all so your brush strokes don't have to be that perfect those edges in there with some lights to darks works very nicely I like that and uh about here, I'm going to stop. I'm going to start getting into deep gray. And I'm going to use deep gray all the way down for the rest of it. Blend it in nice. There you go. I'll just get those out of the way so you can hopefully you can see better. We're just going to kind of give it some. real quick because I can't take too much time on it and hopefully when I work quick it'll be all right with the camera and with my uploads I'll definitely show you all the finished product when I get there as I always do we had a major snowstorm where I live. It was very interesting digging all that out. My neighbors were very kind and helped. I am very grateful for the people around me. Of course, my wife, who also helped shovel. And of course, my little dog, who of course, she can only do one snowflake at a time. She's too little, but she's a good little dog. What can I tell you? quickly, this way I can stay within my time limits, try to cover as much area as possible, going in a nice even
broke down the rock. It was coming this way down. Bob Ross would say, where do you like your rock to wiggle? My rock, he's coming from the left. Everybody is coming from the left, and they're all running to the right. That's where, that's where my head's at. Okay, so let's just mix some lighter tones through here. Try to make that rock a little more interesting. Take some white gray and kind of blend it in. Yeah, there you go. That makes it more interesting visually to look at. You know, rocks always have some different colors going on. So light gray, as you can see, works nice. Especially up there where your light's coming in. You blend it in real cool like that. little bit down here, not too much, but visually, I like that. Phase one, Pride Rock. Bark at the moon, Ozzy Osbourne inspired. See you all for the next paint set. I'm not sure if I want to work over here or maybe the moon. We shall see. Thank you for joining me.